If you've seen my previous videos, you already know, fossils are a very special thing. We're not just the remains of ancient creatures, but a feat of performance. Paleontologists estimate that less than 1% of all the creatures that have ever lived on Earth have had the chance to be fossilized. In other words, every fossil that exists today is almost a color of chance, a remnant of time, luckier than a cosmic lottery prize. But rare has its degrees. And that's what got me wondering, what are the most unique fossils among the most unique? A seemingly simple question, but the more I researched it, the more I realized there's a short answer though. Rare is a completely subjective concept. To a biologist, it's a relic of an absolute species. To a home address, it's a sign of a time long since erased. In my digging for documents and research, I've come across a few discoveries so peculiar that, at first glance, I thought they were a joke. There was a specimen that looked like it came straight out of Greek mythology, a twisted two-headed creature that made everyone rub their eyes to check. But no, it was completely real. Not a kaiju, not a movie monster, but a high phallosaurus, also known as submerged lizard. The name itself tells a story. According to the Royal Society, the fossil was discovered in 2006 in China, in a formation dating back to the early Cretaceous period. That is, more than 100 million years ago. At first, researchers thought these were two separate individuals buried together. But when they analyzed the neck bones in detail, they realized there was only one body with two heads, a truly biceps, a phenomenon scientists call polyphaly. It was the oldest known two-headed fossil and the only one preserved intact in rock. Biologically, this was almost impossible. The fact that it had survived and had survived for tens of millions of years was something that even experts were baffled by. The news spread quickly through the scientific community, accompanied by sensational headlines like two-headed dinosaur. But High Phallosaurus was not a dinosaur at all, but belonged to a group of ancient aquatic reptiles called Choristodera, distant relatives of lizards and crocodiles. This group lived alongside Tyrannosaurus rex, but was much smaller and gentler. Adult High Phallosaurus was only about three feet long, with a flattened body, a flat tail, and webbed limbs. It was a creature of the deep, not a tyrant, but a stealthy predator that preyed on small fish and invertebrates. One interesting point. Thousands of high phallosaurus fossils have been found in the same area, but only one two-headed individual. This makes the discovery a jewel in the paleontological treasure trove. Sadly, however, it probably didn't live very long. Its extremely small body size, smaller than a newborn, suggests it may have died soon after birth, or even before it hatched. This is consistent with modern research. Polyphaly often causes serious developmental errors that drastically shorten the lifespan of the creature. Interestingly, in today's world, two-headed creatures are most common in reptiles, especially snakes and turtles, which are also diapsids, the same evolutionary family as High Phallosaurus. Perhaps it's this ancient biology that causes the ability to occasionally recur in the wild, a faint genetic memory of prehistoric times, a two-headed fossil, both strange and sad. But then, just a few years later, scientists came across an even rarer discovery. This time, not two heads, but two different species, embracing. And yes, you heard right, a pair of prehistoric creatures fossilized in an embrace. If that wasn't hard enough, remember, they weren't even the same species. In 2013, in the Karoo Basin of South Africa, an archaeological team stumbled upon the remains of an ancient cave from the early Triassic period. Already an extremely rare find. Thanks to modern 3D scanning technology at a European lab, researchers were able to confirm the truth. Inside the cave was not just one individual, as they had previously thought, but two different species lying side by side. One was a Thrinaxodon, an ancient beast about the size of a small fox. And the other creature was Brumistega, a prehistoric amphibian with a long body, a flat head, and round eyes that looked up as if still observing the world. Trey Shuak, Kong Kan Shi. Two completely different species living in the same narrow burrow, and then buried by a sudden mud flow more than 240 million years ago. The scene left scientists puzzled, was this a moment of natural compassion or just a hunt interrupted? 
The discovery, though tragic, opened an emotional chapter in paleontology. When, in the midst of a chaotic era of extinction, two small creatures still chose to lie next to each other and both became immortalized in stone. The strange thing is, this species did not dig burrows. So why did it appear in the shelter of an ancient carnivore? Not only in the same burrow, but also lying close together, body to body, like two peas in a pod. At first, many people thought simply, perhaps it was an unfinished hunt. But upon closer inspection, that hypothesis collapsed. There were no traces of a fight, no scratches, no bites. Inside the burrow, it met Thranaxodon, its true master. Scientists have three hypotheses. One, Thranaxodon tried to chase away the intruder, but failed. Two, it simply ignored it. Three, it was in a state of estivation, a form of reverse hibernation that helps the creature survive devastating droughts. If so, it probably had no idea it had a roommate. Either way, the two creatures lay side by side, sealed in tragedy. A sudden mudslide swept through, filling the cave, burying them both in their final moments. A double death, forever petrified. Since then, the embracing. Fossil has become a rare, touching symbol of natural mercy, or at least of peace in the final moments. However, not all precious fossils come from tragic scenes. Sometimes it is the blood hidden in bones that causes scientists to redefine the human species. In 2012, in the frigid Altai Mountains of Siberia, a Russian archaeological team excavated Denisova Cave, a site famous for the remains of an ancient human branch, the Denisovans. Among the nearly 2,000 fragments of bone was a small, seemingly unknown, long bone. But when researchers performed peptide mass fingerprinting and sequenced mitochondrial DNA, they discovered the unthinkable. The bone belonged to a girl who was a hybrid of two extinct human species. They called her Denny. According to an analysis published in Nature, 2018, Denny lived about 90,000 years ago and was the first known example of a hybrid between two human species. Her mother was Neanderthal, her father was Denisovan. To date, she remains the only known example of this type of hybrid, not just among humans, but across the entire primate branch, from humans to chimpanzees. Interestingly, Denny's mother's DNA was similar to Neanderthal's from Western Europe, more than 2,000 miles from where she was found suggesting complex, continuous migrations between ancient human groups. Her Denisovan father, according to genetic data, had faint traces of Neanderthals in his ancestry, more than 600 generations ago. In other words, these two ancient human species met, sharing territory, and perhaps emotions, many times over tens of thousands of years. The discovery was a shock to humanity. It not only proved that different human species had interacted, but also revealed a heartwarming truth that sometimes evolution is not just about competition, but about connection. And if you have Eurasian blood, you probably carry between one and 3% Neanderthal DNA, a direct result of those encounters. In a way, Denny lives on in us. It might seem like the story would end there, but the paleontological universe has a way of surprising us all over again. Because sometimes the magic isn't in the genes, it's in the skin. Scientists call them dinosaur mummies. The name sounds Hollywood, but it's accurate to the letter. These are fossils whose soft tissue, even skin, has been preserved after tens of millions of years. The first specimen, discovered in 1911 in Wyoming, was an Edmontosaurus anectens, often misspelled as Montoaurus. The body was buried in rare conditions, hot and dry, then quickly buried under a layer of fine mud leaving the body naturally mummified. When the specimen, known as AMNH-4060, was unearthed, paleontologists held their breath. The dinosaur was almost completely intact, missing only its tail, hind feet, and part of its pelvis. The skin still has clear tubercle scales, round, non-overlapping scales, like young crocodile skin, but much softer. According to analysis by the New York Museum of Natural History, this mastication process can only occur when a creature dies in an extremely dry climate, loses water so quickly that bacteria cannot decompose it, and is then promptly buried. The result, instead of a skeleton, is a 3D picture of prehistoric times, 
allowing scientists to see exactly how skin, muscles, and tissues were distributed across the dinosaur's body. This fossil opened up a whole new field of research called paleoskin analysis, which taught us that not all dinosaurs had hard scales. Some, like Edmontosaurus, had soft skin similar to that of modern animals. In other words, thanks to a creature that has been desiccated for tens of millions of years, we now understand that the past was not as dry as imagined. From the pair of fossilized friends lying side by side in a Triassic mud cave, to the hybrid girl Denny, the child of two ancient human species, to the dinosaur mummy preserved by time, each discovery is a story of probability, chance, and a little bit of magic. Because sometimes the most precious thing the past leaves us is not bones, but traces of life that once existed. The skin of the Edmontosaurus mummy truly amazed researchers. It was so thin, it was almost transparent, softer and more delicate than any skin tissue ever seen on a creature of such size. But it wasn't the skin that stunned them. It was everything else that came with it. Every finger, claw, even nostril was intact. Along the body, hundreds of tendons and ligaments were perfectly preserved, unprecedented in paleontological history. Thanks to this specimen, for the first time, people could visualize exactly how a dinosaur's body moved, not just its skeleton. But science has a way of outdoing itself. In 2000, another discovery overshadowed the legendary Edmontosaurus, a Brachylophosaurus fossil, affectionately named Leonardo. Leo's body was 90% preserved, with its skin almost intact and its muscle fibers still clearly marked, making it look like it died. Last year, not 77 million years ago. Not only skin and muscle, but also horny beaks and neck crests, along with the remains of the last meal in the stomach. A mixture of weeds, tree trunks, and some pieces of wood. Sounds healthy, but among the pile of plants, scientists also discovered a few small worm-like parasites. It seems that Leo's last menu was not a very chosen last menu. If Leonardo is a resurrected fossil, then Boreala pelta Mark Michelli, excavated in Alberta, Canada in 2017, is a natural sculpture. This creature is an ankylosaur, an armored dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period. And when found in the oil sands mine, it looked like it was sleeping. At first, having never seen any terrestrial creatures in this type of strata, the team of workers thought it was a marine reptile. Only after washing off the hard oil did scientists realize this is one of the most perfect dinosaur fossils that has ever existed. The excavation was not easy. The carcass weighed more than a ton and was located at a precarious height. During transport, the protective plaster broke, sending the specimen plummeting to the ground, cracking into pieces. Miraculously, after 7,000 hours of restoration in the lab, Borealopelta was reassembled, a treasure of the Royal Tyrrell Museum. Its skin, scales, spines, and even its stomach contents were preserved. Among them, scientists found fern twigs, wood, and a small amount of charcoal, probably from eating charred leaves left behind by a forest fire. But what makes Borealopelta unique is that it is the first dinosaur with preserved skin pigmentation. Melanosome analysis suggests that its skin may have once been a pale pinkish red hue, a natural form of camouflage against the northern woods. If it were self-aware, Borealopelta would probably be proudly displayed as a masterpiece of natural art. It's hard to believe that this creature has been dead for tens of millions of years. However, not all perfect fossils are so solemn or scientific. Another discovery has paleontologists blushing and laughing because it caught two creatures, mating, buried right in the middle of that romantic moment. Yes, you heard that right. A fossil of love. The unfortunate pair were ancient turtles, Aleochelis crassus sculpta, which lived 47 million years ago in the Messel area of Germany, once a tropical volcanic lake. At first, when scientists saw the skeletons of the turtles facing each other, they thought it was a fight. But upon closer inspection, they realized that both their tails were perfectly aligned, a characteristic that turtles only exhibit when mating. Analysis of the bones and their sizes confirmed. One male, one female. And they were doing what nature had programmed them to do. So, what killed them in that moment? 
Messel is located on a volcanic crater where the deep waters are filled with toxic CO2 and hydrogen sulfide. The surface is safe, but the deeper they dive, the more dangerous it becomes. Perhaps during their lovemaking session, the pair got tired and drifted to the bottom of the lake about 30 feet, 10 meters. With their thin skin, the ancient turtles absorbed oxygen directly through their skin and also inadvertently absorbed toxic gases. Within minutes, they both died, sank into the hot sediment, and were buried forever together. When the specimen was published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B, it became the only fossilized example of two vertebrates in the act of mating. The love turtles became a symbol both humorous and poignant, a reminder that life and death are sometimes just a breath apart. From the two-headed creatures that never opened their eyes to the birth of a pair of ancient animals lying side by side in a Triassic mud cave, Denny the girl, the hybrid child of two ancient human species and Messel's love turtles, they all tell the same story. Life always leaves traces, but never repeats itself. Each fossil is not just evidence, but a real moment that happened, a last breath caught in stone, a look, a movement, a mistake, made eternal. Perhaps what makes science so beautiful is not its absolute precision, but its ability to make us believe that, amid hundreds of millions of years of silence, the Earth is still whispering a story. If you could witness a single moment in evolutionary history, what would you choose to see? Leave your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to discover more secrets buried in time.